we got married in a fever Hotter than a pepper sprout We've been talking about Jackson Ever since the fire went out I'm going to Jackson I'm going to mess around Yeah, I'm going to Jackson Look out, Jackson Town Well, go on down to Jackson Go ahead and wreck your hill Go play your hand, you big-talking man Make a big fool out yourself This is my bike. It's a 2018 Husqvarna 300 TE. And this is uh, my playground. This is uh, our uh, homestead property. Uh, we are uh, up in the mountains in the Pacific Northwest. And it uh, offers me a wonderful, um, I guess it's a backdrop or a wonderful opportunity um, to ride and to improve my skills. I am not um, a great dirt biker. Um, I'm um, new, relatively new to it. Years ago, I bought one and I fell in with a group of guys that were all very experienced riders and uh, I would go with them and not really having a great foundation or a skill level, uh, it was a terrifying experience. Fast forward 12 years later, uh, getting back into it, I have a completely different look, a different approach um, on the on this sport. Uh, this has been one of the best decisions I've ever made because it um, gives me an opportunity um, to get outside and to test myself and to challenge myself mentally, uh, physically, uh, psychologically. It gives me a rare opportunity where I can see, be singly focused on one thing completely um, removed from all of the pressures and the cares of life. I've found a series of obstacles uh, that I work on. I'll give them names. I call this uh, the tabletop. Uh, it's a. Uh, it doesn't look difficult uh, on the video. It looks looks pretty simple actually. But uh, for my skill level, it, it is quite challenging. And what I tried to do is I trying to to learn to ride well and to ride slow and to have perfect balance on the machine. And what I look for is I look for things that frighten me. Anything that is frightens me, and I look at it and I think to myself, "Oh, I want to avoid that." That's a trigger to me. To that, that's something that I need to conquer. This rock, for example, was something that I came over the rise and I saw it and I panicked the first time I rode. and like, oh, I don't want to hit that. I went back and I, I spent an hour on it, going up, going down, practicing, going over it and conquering that rock. That rock no longer uh, makes me afraid. Our world has become very safe and we as men have become very domesticated. And I think the, sometimes I wonder you know, look back you know where, where are where are my victories where are my my wars you know where are my opportunities to become a um, hero or to prove my courage or my valor those they're so far and few uh, these days and I think it's something that is very important for us to be able to test ourselves and to know for sure do we have what it takes? Can we overcome fear? I, I've resolved to go out for an hour a day and uh, every day at least, an hour, hour and a half a day, um, and to work on writing things that I didn't think was were, were possible. Um, exploring, and this is not about pinning it and tearing around and, and showing off or, or you know trying to, to be macho. This has got nothing to do with anyone, and I don't care what anyone thinks. This is uh, for me and, and for me uh, uh, alone. Another thing that I work on is uh, balance. Uh, when I go riding, I, I rarely, I don't really, hardly ever get out of second gear. First first gear is most, most of the day, I spend most of the day on. I'm uh, working on balance. Um, becoming one with the bike, becoming familiar with the bike, being able to turn in tight areas. Sometimes I'll choose um, a tree in a bush like this and I'll just work on figure eights, round and round, round, to try to be smoother and smoother with the goal of never dabbing my foot, never putting it down and maintaining perfect balance on the bike. A 
another obstacle that has given me a lot of trouble and anxiety in the past writing is our deep water crossings. This is um, a creek that runs through our uh, property here and uh, it's pretty deep right there a log has fallen across it the water is backed up um, and this is something that uh, uh, I have spent a lot of time on <laughs> working on and it's you know it's not that big of a deal to get through for a for a good rider uh, but for me uh, I, I find it challenging and to make it a little bit worse I, I threw uh, some sticks in there as a <laughs> <laughs> a big log there or kind of a medium sized log there to the right I put that at the end to, to make things more difficult um, but what I find when I something like this defeats me and, and uh, I, I um, am getting in my head like oh I don't know if I can get across here um, I'll keep at it and I'll hit it from both sides and I'll do it and do it and do it uh, until I overcome <laughs> Another thing dirt biking has done for me and my family is uh, given my son Jack and I a, um, a wonderful hobby that we can do together where there's no discussion of chores, there's no arguing of video game or screen time. It's um, us removed for all, from all of those pressures and all of those things that are are, they're tough they're tough with especially with young young boys um, and gives us something that we uh, can make memories with and we can uh, do together and that we uh, enjoy to no end these are the wood piles that we have are for winter wood and they have made a another wonderful obstacle or training opportunity uh, in the that Jack and I uh, work on uh, S-turning through these. We go round and round and round, and if you can go through all eight of them without touching the ground, um, especially the ones on the north side, which are off camber, that's quite an accomplishment for us. And we work on this for hours and hours. <laughs> <laughs> 